Welcome everybody to Power Monday. If you are in for the first time, for the nth time, we are happy to have you. And uh, Power Monday is a program that runs every Monday from 7.15 to 8.15, except for public holidays in Kenya, <laughs> not in every other, any other place, just in Kenya. But all the other Mondays, it, it's there. And our mission is basically to provide a platform for sharing knowledge and inspiration for productive link and successful living. We envision that uh, at some point we're going to have a society that is dependable, that has dependable and timeless leaders. We value knowledge sharing, integrity in service, networking, business and career support. Some of the, uh, some of the topics that we like talking about include leadership, critical thinking, decision making, integrity, personal development, Life goals and purpose, like right now, we are going towards the beginning of the year. That's going to be a major thing. Emotional intelligence, entrepreneurship, financial literacy and management, parenting, and other things. And, uh, and uh, uh, we are always welcome. It's not, it's not, a, it's not payable. Uh, yeah. So we welcome everybody. And uh, we use the same link every other Monday. We even have a WhatsApp group, you can always join by chatting us. Now, at this point, just to open for us, because we have a, because we have a, a poet, we have a short poem from Nancy Mora, and then we introduce the speaker. Nancy. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, good morning, how are you? I'm good. It's always a pleasure to be here on Monday. Yes, Today's yeah. poem, I'm, I'm going to do a simple poem about Monday. When I was going through the social media, I saw a quote somewhere that um, whoever that looks forward to Mondays, either they are having an affair in the office, they have a girlfriend or a boyfriend in the office, or they are basically stealing from that office. However, my perspective is different because I always look forward to Power Monday. <laughs> So my poem today is Good Morning, Monday. <laughs> and uh, just a minute. Good morning, Monday. Knock, knock. Hello, Monday. Is a style in a way? Is that it? A cold Monday morning. Hear you. Good morning, Monday. Frenzy beautiful rainbows. A Monday that watches through the windows. No more hate for Mondays. Hey, Monday, you're great. Good morning, Monday. To hustle, bustle day, rise up like never before, rocking best of shoes because it's another Monday. Good morning, Monday. Bury all Sunday's sorrows with hope, anticipate solutions. Don't stutter, don't stumble, don't fear. It's a new day, it's a new week. It's Monday, good morning, Monday. With sincerity and serenity, this is the calmest of all the Mondays, most kind and glorious mornings. Through the mountaintops, you are a success because it's a Monday. Good morning, Monday. It's a delightful Monday, it's a successful Monday, it's a colorful Monday, it's a joyful Monday. Hey, Monday. Good morning, Monday. It's Power Monday. It's my Power Monday. It's your Power Monday. It's our Power Monday. It is our Power Monday. Good morning, Monday. Thank you. Good morning, Monday. Thank you very much, Nancy. You color our sessions. And Monday, uh, uh, Nancy does this almost every other Monday. And uh, we are happy to have her very beautiful poet and uh, a customer experience expert. Thank you very much. Now I welcome Noel, the co-moderator, the, the convener for Power Monday to introduce our speaker that the speaker may share with us the wisdom uh, of ages. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nancy. That was a, a nice poem and I think I'll also add that, I also read to add on the list of the people who love Mondays, it's a lady who has a new hairstyle. 
they're always waiting for Monday. <laughs> anyway, guys, I know you're having a blessed day and I know you already have a powerful Monday and a powerful week. So I'm going to introduce the guest of today. His name is Larry Liza. He's a Kenyan born writer, leader, diplomat, renowned poet and speaker. He currently serves as the director of the World Customs Organization in East and South Africa on secondment from KRA, Larry leads implementation of capacity building initiative for 24 member countries in the region. He has immense knowledge in the region and globally in promoting trade facilitation. He is an expert in strategy development and execution, recently getting a certification from Harvard University in strategy execution. He's an author, has published a number of best-selling books across the socioeconomic divide now. Why is Larry with us today? Now he is with us and he is going to be sharing his knowledge in investments. This, his, his areas of interest include government securities, stocks, and savings and corporate societies, common called, commonly called circles. So, Today, our guest is going to be talking to us on the mystery of circles. Karibu sana, Larry Lisa. And maybe after this, you, you'll also give us a poem because you're a poet. Asante. Karibu. Thank you so much, Noel. Thank you, Paul Peter. Thank you to the poetess. Many of us are here calling it poem. It's pronounced as poem. So everyone who is here gets to learn something about 50 who are logged in. Uh, thank you for the introduction. I don't take it for granted. I love to start by telling this story anytime Paul Peter has invited me for a meeting or a session. He is one of the people in the world, few people who I can almost never say no to unless it's completely impossible and out of my way. Why? Many years ago, probably 20 years ago, we were just finishing campus and people had started working. Many of us were hustling, but Paul got a job at Africa Online. And at that time, they were the leading okay. service provider IP in, um, in, uh, in, in Kenya. And they had very stable internet, which was quite expensive. I think they started at 15,000, at some point settled on 6,900. But out of the many friends Paul would have chosen, because we were not the closest of friends. I know he had others, including his then girlfriend, who later became his wife, Edna. But he chose to give me internet. He chose to give me, I don't know, it's called a, it was called a router then or a modem, but a huge one, which was in my house. So I was the only person around that area that had internet. I lived around rich people, but I was in a very small house called a, a small bed sitter called shoebox because it was quite small, but I had the wealth of internet. I didn't have to go to Uganda house to browse at one shilling or the other cybers at Norwich Union that was having more. And for seven straight years, I used Paul's internet. He didn't charge me a dime. My first book was literally written thanks to the internet that I got from, uh, um, from Paul Peter. So I am totally and absolutely thankful for that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there are various forms of investments that we can look at. And there are many who go to the rich, come, come quick rich uh, kind of businesses and investments. Some have made people rich, especially the, the, the tenders, you know of the Kemsak story and the, the scandals, but there are also those who are actively doing business uh, in business with government and trading with other institutions for supplies and making a lot of money, sometimes up to 100% or even more in profits. Nevertheless, there are certain uh, kinds of businesses that may not give you all that, but they are investments that you can sit back and watch your money work for you. 
And many people, if you are not active on business or you are not able to pursue a business career actively and you are confident or comfortable getting about 10 to 15 percent interest rates, then these are businesses you can always seek interest rates per annum. Some of them include the government securities, which we will talk about hopefully if Paul invites me again sometime. Uh, government securities, particularly treasury bonds, treasury bills, and infrastructure bonds. They are some of the safest forms of investment that any woman or man might want to and give you rates of between six, depending on, on if you take just for a short term, but averagely around 10 to 14 percent a year, depending on what you take and the length you take. And government securities are some of the safest investments you can ever have because they are not affected by change of government. They are not affected by politics. They are some of the safest in a country that is generally as stable as ours. Other forms of securities that others have chosen to look at include uh, the Nairobi Stock Exchange or Stocks and Stock Market. And it depends on which particular counter you decide to invest in, assuming they pay good dividends or you can be able to sell. There are many who have made money in the stocks and stock market. You only need to be wise. You need to be cautious of your timing. You either need to have a long-term focus or short-term, depending on how you do it, and that's talk for another day. And then there are the money markets. But I'm here today to talk about circles or the cooperative societies as they are known. I am not an expert per se. I'm not a master but we can together go in and share in the mastery of this mystery of the circles. So thank you, Paul Peter, for inviting me. I'll try explain what I know, and then if there are questions on the chats, Paul will take us through them and I'll respond as best as I know. I don't have to give you the definition of what circles are or cooperative societies. I actually don't know. But just before the meeting, I googled and read something about they are financial institutions that offer best savings, offer, offer, offer both savings and, uh, and credit to their customers. But I really, really vouch for SACO, and I hope that today I will share what are the best SACOs, who can join SACOs, how much, uh, how much do you need to join a SACO, why would you join circles? Who regulates the circles when, uh, when, 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 you, when you have issues <clears throat> with your circles? And remind me in the end, if I forget, to share about why you need to have a next of kin in your circle and keep your documents up updated if there is anyone taking <clears throat> notes on that. So Kenya has so, so many circles. I was trying to look at the SASRA report again this morning. We started before I completed. SASRA is the organization that is responsible for regulating all the circles in the country. And so I was able to see which are some of the largest and the biggest circles in the country. They have been put in about three different tires. And uh, the biggest circles include Mwalimu Sako. I saw that all the circles in total have about an asset base of nearly 700 billion shillings. And Mwalimu Sako is the biggest. This is where most teachers are. It is followed by Stima Sako, which I really like. This is where many Kenyans are, not only Kenya power workers, businessmen, ETC. It's one of the circles that was the first, if not the only one, that the one, it is the circle that was the first to open its doors to anyone and everyone. And so not just people who deal with Kenya power or, uh, or steamer issues. The third biggest circle is the police circle, mainly because of their members. The fourth is Harambe, Harambe Sako. It pretty much brings together government workers, the, the, the people in public service and in government offices who have been there, followed by Afia Sako, 
And then United Nations, which is not mainly big because of its numbers, but because of the amounts of money that the UN employees put there alongside the, the, the other people who work with international organizations that are welcomed there and Imarisha Sako. So UN is, uh, has been over the years a bit strict on who, who joins because it opens to international staff. And a while back, you could only join one circle, but right now you are permitted to join more than one circle should you need to join. And then there are quite a number of circles under, under that list. If you Google SASRA, SASRA is S-A, SRA, I think it's the Circles Regulatory Authority, you will see their annual reports. Another, then uh, they are the medium based circles, the highest of them all, the one that is currently ranked number one is my Shabora circle, followed, which I also know is very, very good for you and me, followed by Kwetu, and then another one called Yetu. And then there are the smaller tire circles, uh, the one that is leading in that tire is Tabasamu, followed by airport circle. But it doesn't matter which circle you are, whether it's big or what, as long as they meet certain parameters. I am in a circle called Ushuru circle, and so far they have been good to me. You need to check how fast people can process your loans and so on. But just a little thing that came to mind before I talk more on to these, is to share something that is a bit ethnic, but I hope you don't look at it that way. The people from Central Kenya in this country are regarded as more prosperous or more outgoing in their financial institutions and financial development, especially the Kikuyus, the Merus, and the Embus. Why are they in that part of category or in that kind of category? because they have a thirst for finances or because of their financial wisdom. They have gathered certain ways of ensuring that their money grows steadily and surely, not necessarily multiplying fast, but building over the years. The other people who are doing so well in that regard is the Indian community in Kenya. I always say anywhere you see an Indian queuing, know that it is likely a good thing. You may not see them queuing in circles, but I saw them queuing for COVID uh, vaccine and many other places they were queuing. I saw them queuing at CAFO yesterday. There were certain offers of 20%. So when I look at all the circles in the country, at some point I checked and they were about 40, 40 circles in the country. There are many, many more, but I noticed that out of the top 50 circles, around 40 of them were mainly based in central Kenya, uh, starting with Kiambu, Nyeri, definitely Nairobi there, but many of the people are in, in those circles are from central Kenya, uh, Kiambu, Meru, Nyeri, Muranga, Embu, in that order. Basically all the top 10 uh, circles means all the top 10 counties were other than Nairobi were mainly from central Kenya. And then there was Kisi also in the top 10. So if you look at these people in good light and without that ethnic balkanization, you are able to see why some of these communities thrive. This is just one of the way these communities have gotten to grow in their fiscal wisdom and financial knowledge. The big question is who can join the circles? Anybody, you or me, as long as you are in a position to afford any amount, most circles have a minimum amount that you are supposed to give. Uh, I know many want about 2000 shillings. I know someone who contributes 300,000 shillings to his circle every month. He earns about 1 million shillings wherever he works. But you see from a circle, it technically means any year he gets 3.6 million in his circle. I heard somewhere that one of the leading people in circles in Kenya has around 110 million in the circle. 
110 million. I had, I don't know how that is true, how true that is, but I had it from a reliable source. Actually, this man's money grew to 120 million. Circles give interest rates of between any amount, but good circles will give you interest rates of about 10 to 12 percent per year based on the deposits that you have had that year. So imagine the person with 120 million getting 12 million shillings a year from their circle and growing it. The person with 1.2 million gets 120,000 a year, which is still good. The person with 120,000 gets 12,000 a year. So it's important that you start slowly, but surely when I joined Ushuru Sako, I think I used to contribute 2,000 shillings per month from my salary. And there are two ways. I normally say, just like tax, should you choose to save in the Sako, make sure you do not save what is left. Once you give KRA their money, the next thing should be your savings. So send your money to the circle. If you can do check off from your employer, the better. You only need to ensure that your employer is consistently updating it. If you are not able or you are not employed, just make sure you deposit. Most circles, most all good circles right now, allow you to deposit money on your M PESA. You could still do bank transfers. You could send money any time of the day or night or the month. The misconception sometimes is that you can take your money and put it in a circle in December and get the, all the 12% next year, assuming they give you 12%. It normally depends. They calculate it. It's, it's something I'll challenge you to go check how you earn your interest from the circle. But basically, if you've been in a circle for 12 months, then assuming they give 10%, so maybe you have 100,000 shillings, or let's, for ease of maths, let's work with 1.2 million that you've put in the circle. Technically, uh, if you have 1.2 million in January or at the beginning of January, and they are giving 10%, that's 120,000 that you will earn in the month of January. But how do they calculate it? They will calculate 10 over 100% times 120,000 or 1.2 million times 12 over 12, which is one. So 12 over 12 means 12 months over 12 months, which is one. That's how you end up getting all the 12% in that in January. When we go to February, you see it's the second month. So it goes to 11 over 12. So if you put your money in December and they are supposed to be paying you interest next year, January or February or March, it will mean your money shall have only stayed in that circle once for one month. So whatever profit will be multiplied by one over 12, which is the one month that you are there. If there is a need to explain that one better later, I'll explain it, but there are templates out there. But all in all, who can join a circle? Anyone. How much is needed? anything that you can afford. And most circles right now are online and you are able to log into your system and see, track your kind of savings. Many circles have different products for their members. The main one is normally just the deposit, you know, the deposit that you put and every year you earn your interest. But then there are also other savings that you can put in the circle and withdraw at any time you want, just like a bank. When you join a circle, there's something they call share capital. Each circle has an amount that they call share capital that expects you that expects you to deposit some money with them. It's your share of ownership of that company. For some, it could be 10,000, 20,000, 30, 50,000. And it's money that you will, they will always take it pole pole. So you don't have to pay it at once. And it will be, it's not, it's not uh, sellable, but it's transferable. So should you leave the circle, if you come back, your share capital will always be there. 
Many people leave the circle for one reason or another. Maybe they have financial turmoil and they forget their share capital. So should you ever go back to that circle, you have your money intact. Otherwise, you might want to transfer it. I recently, uh, a friend of mine was uh, leaving Ushuru Sako um, some months ago, and the share capital of Ushuru Sako at that time was 35,000. And so I asked her, why don't you transfer to me your share capital? And she told me, okay, I'll sell. So you can choose to sell because she was leaving the country. And so she gave me share capital worth 35,000 at 25,000, but she only needed to instruct uh, my circle transfer my shares to this person. Why? Uh, while you also earn interest from them, it may not be much, but any day should the circle hope to need to increase its share capital, then I'm sorted, I think, for the next many years. But why really, ladies and gentlemen, do people join circles? There are usually two broad reasons, but I thought of actually four broad reasons in my view people join circles. Number one, loans. You may want a loan and you will need a circle that gives you loans. Many circles give you three times your deposits or 3.5 and some even four times your deposits. Meaning if you are in a circle today and you've been there for a prescribed amount of time, say three months or six months, and you have a hundred thousand shillings and you need half a million, your circle will be able to give you, if they give four times, they'll be able to give you 400,000. And remember, you only have 100,000 in it. If they give three times and you have 50,000, they'll be able to give you 150,000. But before I continue on why circles or what to look at for the best circle, I always say that when you join a circle, find the reason you want to join the circle. It could be any of the four reasons that I'm talking about. But if you are someone in business who will need a loan, do not just join any circle because it is good. You always need guarantors to guarantee you. So if you are taking a loan of 200,000 because maybe you have 50, maybe 70,000 and you qualify for 210, you need people who are members of that circle to guarantee you a certain amount of that loan. Some circles divide it equally. Uh, guarantors, if you get 10, they say everyone has a liability of 20,000 for you. Or some, like Ushuru, you will say that, okay, I get one person, they are guaranteeing me this 200,000. So as you pay every month, as you repay the money, the value of whatever they are guaranteeing you keeps going down. So it is important if you will, you know you will need to take a loan that you pick a circle that has peoples in your circles. For example, if you work for Kenya Revenue Authority, you are better off in a circle like Ushuru Circle or Hazina Circle. If you work for the police, you are better off in a circle like Kenya Police. If you work for bankers, you are better off in a circle, circle that takes care of the bankers or any other general circle that will meet your needs or has other people who can guarantee. But do not just go to a circle because your colleagues are there. Check their consistency, their faithfulness over the years in paying dividends, in applying for, in processing your loans as fast as possible. So don't just rush to Safari Circle and then find yourself there alone, starting to look for people who are in Safari Circle who want to give you a loan. And by the way, I understand that's one of the best managed circles in the country. A circle like Steamer Circle will always has so many people in business. But before you join a circle, talk to your close friends, hear what circles they are in. A friend of mine recently needed money about 1 million shillings. And her circle, she has <clears throat> savings of about 500,000 shillings. Her circle has not given her money. She applied, she's waited. Sometimes you apply and you wait for months. Not surprisingly, that circle was in the media recently as being on the spotlight. Most of the circles are good, 
but you just need to ensure and you know that they are good and you have people who can guarantee you serve as your guarantors should you default. But there is a catch. Do not, uh, do not guarantee anyone your money. And should you guarantee, opt to guarantee what you are ready and willing to lose. Why? Because if that person defaults and refuses to pay that money, the circle will always do everything they can to get back their money, especially if they had more. But if this person had 100,000 and taken 300,000 and defaulted, then that's why you are guarantor. So you will pay that money for them. I know someone who took some loan uh, and had his friends guarantee him and then defaulted. I know one who moved out of the country and one who is a lawyer who is always on TV talking every now and then, but defaulted their circles. I don't know what the law says on how to pursue them, but I know people in different circles who are still paying their loans. So make sure you guarantee someone an amount you are willing and ready to lose. But more often, more than that, make sure you give, you guarantee someone you know, you trust, is reliable, and who can also guarantee you. When we were starting to work, people would come with the papers. Mimi na chukwa lonia, 300,000, ni guarantee. We guaranteed so many strangers without knowing it. It's the money that you have worked so hard for, and you really have to do your best to ensure that you protect it. So why circles? One reason is loan. If you need a loan at any time or you will ever need a loan, you will always get it in your circles. Most circles give process this loan within one day. In fact, there is a time I needed money urgently to make something that had spoiled my way, and my circle processed the loan within hours and you can go get it from the circle. If anything, circles now offer services that are called FOSA. I think they are front office services. They serve like banks and you can just go apply for a loan and, with, and pick it uh, right from, get it in cash from your circles. The other is the savings. So beyond loans, you can choose to join a circle to save. So that's normally one of the things I look at that save. So remember, if you have 100,000, you'll get about 10,000, depending on the amount. If you have 1 million, you'll get about 100,000 a year. If you have 10 million or 12 million, imagine getting dividends of 1 million at the end of the year. When you get these dividends, it's not a call for you to go to holiday. I normally say try invest at least 50% or use it for the other projects that you have to reinvest it in the circle so that you grow it. Again, look at circles that will offer you steady dividends of about 10 to 14%. So people use it for dividends. The third reason is for savings, because I think I mix savings and dividends. So you could put your money in the circle to get a loan, number one. You could put it to get dividends. Number three, you could put it for savings. You just save it like in a bank because it's not one that you will withdraw as often. So anytime you need your money, you will be able to withdraw it. And the first, I normally say for investment, there is a difference between savings and investment. A number of circles go out of their way and open, look for investment opportunities. If anything, circles were instructed to, the ones that wanted to invest for their staff to in, open an investment wing. So you will find, for example, Safaricom has given out a brochure for members of Safaricom Circle and the public telling them there is land in Kitengela we are selling, there is land in Kiambu. If you are a member of the circle, you could get it at 20% less and so on. So they open your eyes to investment options. They may go and buy a huge chunk of land in Ruai and divide it. So those are the four reasons that uh, I normally say uh, are important uh, are drivers to why we join circles. The question is, which is the best circle in Kenya? I cannot say any, I, I would say neither. I would say open your eyes and look through different things. Number one, look at a circle that is stable. 
that has traditionally and consistently given um, dividends to its members that pays them well and so on. But all in all, look for a circle that is stable. Most of the circles I've mentioned today are very stable. There are so many other good circles that even offer much more than that. I think I know, did someone mention Bandari circle or a circle in, in cost that gave them 14%? But look through, find a circle within your circle. The second thing I normally say is a best circle is one that does faster loan processing. You need money urgently. The, the circle can give you, I told you my circle gave me a, a loan within a day or 24 hours, you know? So look for money, a circle that will allow you faster loan processing. And third, look for money that will allow you faster access to your saving. There's a time I wanted to leave the circle many, many years ago. And I told the circle I had an emergency and in two days they had cleared me and I left the circle. And I went back after two months uh, because I'd sorted what was there and I started checking. And look for circles that pays good dividends and gives you various investment options. I didn't have particular prepared notes, but I think that is what comes to my mind regarding circles. It will probably be prudent to give a more time for discussions should anyone need. But remember, anyone can join a circle with whatever amount you need. And to join, you can, you, how do you join? You apply, you go to the circle website. Sometimes you don't even have to go there physically. Circles are more and more digitized. Look for circles, but find reasons you are joining the circle. You have an option for loan, for savings, for dividend and investment. And what is the best circle in Kenya? As I finish, remember, look at what the people from Central Kenya are doing and see that they have clustered circles more than anyone. For those who joined late, I just shared how I think among the top 10 circles in counties, if I remove Nairobi County, Central Kenya has the highest number of circles. I think I the last time I checked, eight over 10, then Nairobi maybe, and then there were a few in uh, Rift Valley and Kisi as well. And you will know why some communities are thriving better than the rest. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Larry. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I know you have some, uh, maybe some stories related to the same, some testimonies you can give. That would be wonderful to add. Number two, somebody is asking, how are, uh, that is Lawrence. Let, how let are, me find a paper. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm saying that if you if you have some inspiring story related to the same people who've done what 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 and achieve people learn more again from stories they'll remember more and then I just wanted to say one question that I've seen from a certain Lawrence says how are circles able to give higher dividends than even the CBK is giving so maybe you can start with that. And then I've seen a long list here. I need to I need to read it whether it has questions or not. Thanks. Okay. It doesn't have questions. It is it just highlights from uh from Odiambo Olale. It oh, doesn't okay. have questions. Great, great. Odiambo Olale is a, a media uh, mogul. Yeah. So <laughs> he takes notes, he's our scribe. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I have also seen a question, is it wise to borrow from a circle uh, as opposed to a bank? Um, I would say, look at the interest rates. Most banks, I think, currently are charging 14% per annum. Circles charge, most of them charge 12% per annum on reducing balance. So it's 12%. Um, if you have a loan of 100,000 and, um, you pay 10,000 this month, they'll be charging 12% on 100,000. Then whatever amount you have next, they will, uh, they will, they will change it to 90, 90, they'll charge 12% on 90. So I find that circles are better than banks 
in the sense that when they charge lower interest rates compared to the banks, that said, it depends on your bank and what they can do. There are banks that say offer mortgage and they have agreements with employers or mortgage facilities at 6%, so why not go to, to the bank? On the stories of successes, I've shared uh, at least two stories somehow. I've shared of uh, a man I know who is in one of the circles that has 120 million. And he started as a civil sufferer <laughs> or civil servant, and he started by saving 5,000, you know, no, 500 some years ago. I think he's in his 60s now. And now he has 120 million, meaning he earns about 12 million every, every year. I've shared on how you need to be keen on who you give loan to, on how someone was guaranteed, who you need to guarantee. Someone was guaranteed and went, and then people have to pay that loan. The good thing is most of the time, circles do not require, unlike banks, to give them guarantees like title deeds and so on. I've shared, personally, I have had diff financial difficulties at some point. Even this year, I needed a loan so urgently, I went to my circle and they processed. So I think there are plenty of stories yeah, that we can share. How come circles are able to give higher dividends than, than, uh, than uh, even central bank. I don't know, but they are not so higher than central bank because remember this is the government. Uh, they, are, they are said to be more secure securities and, um, and the government also gives up to 14%. So when I check what the circle gives, I find it's more or less what the government uh, gives. The only thing is remember circles have your money long-term and for many people, and a company, a circle like uh, Mwalimu Sako, I think has nearly 60 billion uh, shillings in deposit. So they have money that they can lend to so many people at the same time and get more faster than the bank, which uh, borrows from different institutions. I don't know if, yeah. yeah. There is Catherine Kiriba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for... Uh, I like that guy who gets uh, started from 500, whatever, maybe every month, now getting 12 million a year. That means uh, almost a million every month is sorted per year. Now, there is uh, Catherine Kiriba. Catherine Kiriba is a veteran banker, uh, recently retired from the bank. We, you have a question or a comment? You can go ahead. Uh, yeah. So thank you, thank you for unmuting me. I was trying to call you on the phone. Uh, Larry, thank you for that talk. For me, it's not a question. It's just those testimonies. I'm a strong circle member. Maybe they come from, I'm a member of these circles, but active in two circles. I'm active in Kenya bankers, having been a banker. And I'm also active in my former place where we have the Faudu circle. So maybe what I can tell the people who are logged in and today I can see we have a few participants, a banker and being in a circle, good because you see what you are doing, you are diversifying in terms of where you are saving. And the reason why you do this is that you, you, you get at least to be able to access finances from two places. If I need a loan from the bank, I'm able to get it. If I need a loan from the circle, I'm able to get it. And maybe from here, I've sat myself. I have I've been able to pay for part of my school using my circles. I've been able to pay for my kids' school using the circles. The beauty with circles, as Larry is saying, you have the power to decide how much do you want to make. And so for me, that amount that you save even before you start to invest, and since some of them, ha you, you, you're able to get loans maybe times three, others, they have an offer. Once you get to a certain amount, you're able to get time for your savings. So the more you save, the more money that you are able to access. So it's just a call for anybody who is not joined the circle. It's one of the best things that you can be able to do. And honestly, even though you don't have money, but you purpose, this is where you are investing your money. You know how much you can be able to secure. And for the loans, you just get a group of people where you guarantee each other and you trust each other. 
you can also self guarantee yourself depending on the shares that you have. So that's the input that I had today. And thank you, Larry, for the great conversation on the same. Back to you, Paul. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Before, before you go on, I will encourage those who can. There is a guy called Olale on the group who has also really put good comments, some highlights of what I said. So go through them and, uh, and read them. Back to you in studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Olale himself is uh, raising his hand up, so maybe he wants to add another comment. And then after that, we have Papi, yes, who had that long name at the beginning, who is also in finance, probably will add something, and then we will go to another question I've seen down there. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Larry. You've uh, really done justice to this. Uh, two things I wanted to say, in addition to the, the questions that I've posted on the chat, is that I'm one of those ones who I say I'm a, uh, you're preaching to the converted. I, when I joined the Nation newspaper, I joined the circle immediately, and it has done wonders. It's one of those areas where anybody who is not in a circle, please join one. Uh, it has helped me do so many things. Like, you know, personal nyombo. Nyombo means to go and pay bride price, to build a house, to do many things. And I think we should continue doing that. Uh, but the, the other side of, of circle also is this problem of uh, defaulters who you guarantee, then they disappear. I had one who, who applied for a, a loan uh, and, uh, one week, and the next week he was in the U.S. after getting his money, and he disappeared. Uh, I have, another, I have others who have, uh, they, they're still in the country, but they're just one of those ones who say, I can't, I won't, I can't pay, I won't pay. But I think the most important lesson from, from what you have said is that uh, we need to be focused on, on how we, uh, we manage our finances. Uh, circles are one of the best ways of not only having a savings and a investment plan, but also gives you an opportunity to, to have like a three-year development plan so that as you pay the loan, you already think of what else after you have paid that. And that is that is something that has really helped me. So thank you so much for what you have shared. And I'm sure, I hope this will reach even more people. My big question was just that there is this culture of savings and investment in circles. It is it has is in trend in the central as you say and a bit of Nairobi because of uh, being urban I think. How much more can we can you can we do individually and professionally to get more people in 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 in, in involved in in these circles so that we for, we reduce cases of, of handouts begging and such like things. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we also pick uh, a comment or a question from Papi, then you go ahead with it. I believe one of the, the avenues is exactly what we are doing at Power Monday. Thank you. Yes, Papi. Yes, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, I want to thank the speaker, Larry. That was, that was good, incitive. Yes, mine was just to shed some light on two questions. Yeah, Larry attempted to, to answer them, but, you know, about someone asked about why can central bank give more, more interest? Mm. Yeah, the issue is, ASACO is probably a deposit-taking institution. It is a financial management company with a soft name called ASACO. So they have your money. They don't give, they, they don't trade with your money like giving out to tellers and ATMs. So they have money to invest. And then the other one was, someone asked, Someone also asked, you know, how, why circles? Yes, it's circles because, you know, the biggest problem we have in this country is we, we are not collateral. We have an issue of collateral. So circles offers a situation where we do something called a core guarantee. And that's why I think one of the lady bankers, Catherine Kiriba said, you need a group when you join into circles. Because what, what core guarantee means literally is you put your money and then the money guarantees for yourself. Then you can borrow from the money you already put. Now it's different from when you go ask for a bank loan and you ask for a title deed. We don't have title deeds. We don't have these kinds of collateral. So 
circles offer us something called a co-guarantee mechanism that comprises us. Larry, these words may not be English per se, but those are the terms we use in the field. You know, we try okay. to make people collateral, collateralization. <laughs> Yeah, and also about, about I, I read a comment about Olale. The big question is what about the culture change? The culture change will be driven by the need. If our need requires us to get this money to do something, we can always borrow good practices. So borrow good practices, get into a saving culture. The saving culture, you're not really saving. You're building a collateral for yourself. So if your collateral is only about 100,000 and your 10 of you, your collective collateral is a million. Yeah. And then now you can borrow. That is the biggest advantage circles give us. Yeah. Thank you very much. Asante. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. My relatives are sharp. He didn't say that he's my brother. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I think when uh, Papi said uh, circles are a collateral, it also just came to my mind, even guaranteeing is collateral because if you attend and save 100,000, you have 1 million. But if someone takes a loan of 1 million and uh, 10 people guarantee them, then uh, at uh, say at 10% each, then your risk is 100,000. So is 10,000, sorry, it's 10,000. So you lose less than you would have lost if you guarantee. Uh, thank you so much, Papi. Thank you all. You have big names here. I didn't know this is the amazing Odiambo Olale, renowned journalist, media consultant, worker of, I think, I don't know if he's still at Nation Media Group. I'm so honored that you are here and with your kind words, you are indeed a household name. Uh, someone mm. has asked a question uh, uh, on... Um, if someone takes, I'll come to the issues that were raised, but if someone, you guarantee someone in a circle, the first question is, can you join a circle and fail to guarantee? Yes, nobody forces you to guarantee. Nobody, no circle, no right thinking circle will put your name having guaranteed someone. In fact, Ushuru circle calls to find out, have you guaranteed this person? You don't even say yes, you have to tell them what amount. And you also log into your portal and do it yourself these days. So you guarantee, and the trick is if you have to guarantee, now one, you do not have to guarantee anyone. But remember, you may also need a loan one day. That's why I'm saying guarantee those you know, you trust, and you can rely on, and offer guarantee to what you can afford to lose. If someone wants a loan of 500,000, you are not Jesus to guarantee them 500,000. You can guarantee 50,000, you can guarantee 10, you can guarantee 100, depending on what you want. So you are not forced to guarantee, but you might also need. Uh, there is someone who commented on uh, uh, that circles need to change their way of doing things, that it's not the good old days because people lose jobs. Yes, uh, circles are generally still very good, still stable, depending on which circles, and they are tremendously involving in increasing their options. They are under uh, better management now with the government regulatory agency, SASRA. So should you have an issue with circles, you can always report to circles. I only have one challenge with the circles on the gender issue. If you look through the boards of many circles, including my circle, Ushuru, and all those other circles I've mentioned, many of them do not only have about, and there are circles that I think it's the Kenya police circle that out of the top 10 people, I only saw one woman, or out of 15, I only saw one lady. I normally feel personally that uh, where women are, things also work because they bring another a nurturing perspective. But other than that, it's only right that everyone is in the table and everyone is hard. Why are we men insisting on being in the circle? So push for your circles to ensure that go to your circle, check the website, check the management. Very few circles. I think I only saw one or two that had 40% women. Others, 30%, very few, but most have about 10% women. The issue of... Uh, what Mr. Olale said is, what is Central Kenya doing? 
The Chinese were not where they were a hundred years ago, but it will take eternity maybe for the world to catch up with them. They checked. What was it that the US was doing? What was it that USSR was doing? What was it that Europe was doing? They did not just do the same, but they went and did it better. So if you are from a different community from central Kenya, it's upon you to go. But we are looking at an instance where you, you, we develop as a whole country, not just communities. But should you feel that your community is not doing so well, then it's upon you to go and empower them, talk to them. Don't always, let's not always be, I have seen in different sectors when people get so emotional after elections and then one year after, people go down and come back again after another, another four years. There are certain books, there's a good book I read called The Prosperity Paradox. It just highlights on consumption, check where there is need. And that's what Equity Bank did. I saw at some point Equity Bank CEO went and uh, had lunch and shook the hands of uh, honorable former prime minister Raila Odinga. A few months later, Equity was in Bondo. And you know, it's called non-consumption areas that need to consume and then look through innovation and, and, uh, and, and all that. So I believe I've answered most of the thoughts by Papi and Mr. Olale were, were advice, yeah. So there's Anthony and I know your time is running up, Paul. Yeah. So Anthony is a, a veteran member of Power Monday and uh, I know he's got a lot of things to share or to say. So Anthony, you will be the last. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Pippi. Thank you very much, Larry. Good to see you once again. And uh, um, maybe they're very, very timely information in terms of SACO. Uh, personally, I'm a member of SACO. Maybe some of you can guess which one, Safaricom SACO. Mm. And uh, one, one thing, uh, uh, the other thing I know uh, that makes people not join SACO is like somebody saying the issue of, uh, you, I don't know anyone in that SACO. So what I've seen recently people doing, people, they come together, then they decide which SACO are we going to join as a group. So mm. that now you join as a group, then you can be guaranteeing amongst yourselves. You know, like for, I'm just giving an example. Like today, my say Power Monday, uh, we are thinking of joining a circle, we are going to join, to join circle X because we know mm -hmm. uh, like each other, for example. Then when somebody has a, a wants a loan, then they can guarantee amongst us, uh, themselves. So that's one of the things that I've seen uh, that also is also helping people invest in the circle. The other thing is also some circles also have uh, uh, openings for groups, you know, where you can go mm -hmm. to join as a group. Uh, and then uh, that makes it easy, easier whenever one uh, wants to get uh, alone. Uh, but what I can say is my experience with the circle, wow, is the best. And you know, even some circles go, you can get a circle that uh, uh, allows somebody to make a deposit. So even around 200 shillings per month, 100 shillings per month. <clears throat> it might look small, but cumulatively uh, uh, over time, it is a, a lot, lot of money, especially when one has a big project to do. Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Maybe I know you'll need to conclude. Let me just salute Anthony. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words, your leadership and inspiration and resilience through life. I know you, though I haven't seen you in a while. I appreciate. Paul, there are a number of people who <clears throat> may have questions, so I think you will announce. I know you normally uh, post these on YouTube. I'm sure you will announce to them. If they transfer questions through you, that's okay. You can send them to me. Those who want can also find me on Facebook through the same names <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll be able to respond. I've done a post on circles maybe one month ago. So if you scroll down the Larry Lisa profile, you should be able to see it, though you had more here. And finally, Paul, allow me to thank the many friends who saw my status and joined. I've seen so many here and I'm totally floored. Thank you. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, uh, as we said, uh, this is a, a platform for sharing information. We do it every Monday. Everyone is welcome. We use the same link. Yes, Noel, uh, you can take us to the end. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was, I mean, that was awesome. I felt like we should continue and continue and continue, but people have other things to do. Uh, OPP, maybe we should, uh, as the year starts next year, we should bring Larry Lisa on board again as the year starts next year. 
Um, so I call upon Dr. Melvin Lima, who is going to be giving the vote of thanks. The first time I heard about bonds, government bonds and everything, I had them through Dr. Melvin Lima. He is also a financial, he's also in the financial, um, in the financial what, industry or something, but he is a doctor. So a doctor who knows about bonds. Dr. Melvin yeah. Lima, kindly give us a vote of thanks. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, first of all, uh, all members of the Power Monday team for making time to attend this exciting uh, discussion today. Secondly, I'd like to, uh, to thank uh, the constituency of our guest speaker, Larry, for, uh, for, for coming to this particular session. And finally, my thanks go to our excellent speaker, um, Larry, who has broken down the SACO movement so well. And if anybody is not in a SACO, this is the time to think about joining one. Uh, I'd also like, uh, if you allow me, uh, to thank all those people who contributed actively to this discussion. The names which uh, pop up are Anthony, um, Papi, uh, Catherine, Kiriba, and others who enriched, uh, including Odiambo Olale, who uh, sort of brought additional input into the discussion. Uh, as you all know, Power Monday is highly participatory and we thank them for their participation. So let me revert once again and thank, uh, thank Larry for making time for this, uh, this particular discussion. And now finally, our thanks go to God. And, uh, and I'd like us to, to, to join in, in, in thanking God for, for Larry. Uh, uh, we want to thank God for the Power Monday team who put this together. And we want to ask in the name of Jesus Christ that, uh, that we, he, will, he will be with us throughout this day and throughout this week so that we can be good witnesses to his power for us to create wealth and manage it uh, responsibly for his greater glory. And we ask all of this believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Melvin Lima. Now, as Oteno Paul Peter said, this is Power Monday, and we meet every Monday, every Monday, just to, to kickstart the week. Uh, we use the same link every Monday from 7.15 7 a.m. to quarter past eight, but you can join as early as 7 a.m. just to network and to know what people do. You never know, your, your next 10 million will be just sitting there waiting for you to talk to them. Anyway, so our upcoming events, on the 10th of December, we are having a meet and greet 